And then to hear uh, Apostle Harriet's story that my son just got brutally murdered. And just to hear how they didn't lost people tragically and then how they recovered. And um, I didn't feel like the big elephant in the room no more. I felt like, okay, I belong. Because they all embraced me. They all had a story. Somebody's story was way worse than mine. I'm like, God, they were telling me, if I had made it, you're going to make it through this. you just grieving. And I just couldn't believe them at the time. I'm like, this pain ain't going to go nowhere. But I kept coming. And I tell you, the pain lifted, the grief lifted. And um, it was just love like no other. So I thank God for y'all. Y'all y'all said I made a big impact on y'all. But I promise y'all, I was broken when I came. And y'all made a big impact on me. And then meet this jewel right here. The very first time I met her, she had on a brand new outfit with me. She still had the tags on. I said, Mother, that, I said, that is so pretty you got on. She said, after church, I'm going to give it to you. You know how people tell you stuff like that don't do it? She went to her car, she got her dress, and she gave me that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and the next Sunday, I said, I don't know how to thank you. I'm using She just, anybody knows she dressed so pretty. Yeah, yeah. She just be so beautiful. So she came back the next time. I said, Ooh, not so she can give it to me. I was just complimenting what she looked. I said, oh, you're so brutal. She said, I'm, you want this too? I'm going to give it to you. And I'm losing away anyway. So she gave me that too. So y'all just all made me feel welcome. And I, I thank God for each and every one of y'all and y'all respectful places. I thank y'all, everybody. I promise you I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Amen. 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 I, got, I got something for you I remember when you first came to uh, the church, but I'm saying, when she first, I was starting the building, uh -huh. and I could, and you, I think we had talked, and you said that you were heavy. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, and uh -huh. I had said then, I said, God's going to use her, God's going to use her modeling, and she's going to be a big impact to the church. And you, and I, I've i been watching, I said, oh, look at her, do great to that dog. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, just know that you, you came to a place that, I'll tell, I'll tell everybody, Come because see this this ground right here is fertile. It's fertile ground. It's yes, fertile, it and whatever you plant, gonna come up. Yeah, and it's gonna come up fully for us. Yeah, as a harvest. Yes. So you continue. You and your family. You you cover. Tell my go covers all of them. She loves all of them. She really has the yes. heart of God. Yeah. You ever wanna feel it? You come here. Mm -hmm. She has the heart of God. I just love my sister. Thank they do you. Thank you. For you. Yes, thank you. Really you. Thank God bless you and your family. Bless you. Thank you. Anybody else want to say anything to Prophet Apostle? Here at Jericho Road, I want to say thank you. Because truly, you have been a blessing. You and your family have truly been a blessing to us. And when you and your family walk through the door, it is nothing but love. Amen. And we just want to say thank you. Because when you all came, you all gave us more inspiration and um you know we love for you to bring the word amen amen, amen. 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 that's amen. the gift that everybody don't have the same gift amen. amen and i thank god for your gift and how you use it at j ranch amen. and i just want to say we love you and your family thank you amen, amen. <laughs> Go, mother. I would just like to say, you know, I thank God for uh, Apostle White, you know, for being in the midst of the place, God. I was like, God is coming in, she started coming in, the Bible study, prayer with me, Thomas the King, praise God. And you know, during that time, I was going through a lot of pain within my back, praise God. And she, she didn't know really what was going on, but for this particular day, at press, she started reading the scripts to praise God, and she acted like she couldn't get it or something at her. She was like, you know, but back she did was doing the twenty third Psalm, praise God. And when she read on down and she got to about the fourth chapter of that, or that twenty third Psalm, it looked like a chocolate. He was just gone, you know, he was just, he was just, just gone. But throwing that word that she drawn. God released me through on that. Also, I went through the doctor and had x rays on my back, and they showed the picture of my back, how my back was in. But, you know, I began to court that word. Yea, though I walked through the valley of shadow of death. You know, because that's what God had put into her 
to put into me, you yes. know, not knowing who that needed that wood, praise God. And so, you know, I had to take Esherie and everything, and one day I was on the table, and I said, I ain't going no more, because when the lady showed me the Esherie, he was just like, he was just bright night, he was like a big old week there, I said, uh, this is not, this not, not, not nasty, just praise God. But as I went through that fourth chapter, oh, yeah, you know, I walked through the valley of shadow and death. I see myself in the spirit, you know, going through the valley, and God delivered me from that. You know, and I just thank God for you for that, you know, because everybody, you know, we might speak a word, but we don't know who is going to hear, who is going to touch, who needs the word, who's going to put, it's so, it's a word for everybody, you know, coming to somebody, we don't, go ahead, we don't know who is going to come for our deliverance, so we have to be listening. But I would listen for I deliver, not just because she did it there, she thought she did it No, it's a word in there, but you pay it a change of praise God. Amen. Because when that thing was going like a calculator, you know, and I was like, <laughs> but God was calculating that thing into my heart, into yeah. my spirit, you know, yeah. letting me know that that's what I needed to so overcome, <coughs> that whatever the enemy was doing to me, praise God. And I just thank God for you, Pastor uh, White. So keep on doing Amen. what you're doing. Keep on looking to God, and He will see you through. Amen. Do it all. Amen. Pastor Wiley, since you've been in this church, I just want you to know I'm, I'm overwhelmed because you have helped me. You've also, since when my father died last year, you gave me a lot of encouraging words. Um, you have been my best friend since you've been here, besides Pastor Margo and the rest of them, but you have been a light to me. Last night I was laying in the bed and I, um, I told God it's time for me to give up the other stuff and go back to Christ. So I hope I'm going to turn back and go back to Christ and do what I'm supposed to do. Because I don't want to end up in hell when I leave here. I want to go back to my mom and my dad. So I saw uh, um, Patricia yesterday at uh, Family Dollar. I was up there at Family Dollar on... Um, well, Mercy. I'm Mercy. She talked to me too. Um, I want to get that right so I can move back in with Pastor Margo. I, I, I can't do it out there. I know. I don't want to be out there, you know, doing whatever. But I want to be back with Christ and doing what I got to do and serve the Lord. Amen. Um, you you have been experienced your mother to me, and I appreciate you, your husband, and your kids. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Just me. Like to say, uh, God bless you. That's my blood sister. Right. <laughs> like Happy birthday to you. I love you, my sister. Love you too. I thank you for everything that you do for us and our family. I thank you for being my strength when I'm weak. You always give me the courage and the strength to tell me, look, you can do this. You shall live and you shall not die. All right. So I thank you for being my rock. And like she said, we were, we, 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 we was feeling real low. We was, we, we felt like we wasn't treated fairly. God, I was so like she said, sometimes, you know, you can be hurt and you can feel whatever. But I thank God for us being, my mama raised us to be strong and be, and to, to lean on each other. So I, I just thank God for you. Being the person that you are, and I love Great. you, and I pray that you have many more blessed birthday to come. I also want to say I got to give credit. To, I thank you, my brother in law, please. I, I got to say, I love you, brother in law. I thank you for being here. My sister's rock. I thank you for everything that you do. Because they stay behind, you know, the pair. Y'all make up the team, so I thank you as well. Amen. Anybody else? Well, I want to say, um, I appreciate everything y'all have done for my wife. She's really great. Thank you for me. to help me get to where I be. I wouldn't be willing to work for her today. Amen. 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 The whole family has been good to me. They picked me up when I was there. They always show love. All right. I've been up and been so much. Been so much. I've been up and down, sick, and a lot. I hope I'll be here today. Amen. 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 Well, and, and I would like to say, I, I happy birthday for us again. And it was my husband's uh, 
he made that decision for us to use this building for it because it's the first time we did anything up here. And he said, why not just have the birthday party and Bible study here tonight? But you coming to Jericho Road, I know you've been sent by God. Because Jericho Road is not, y'all, y'all be quiet, y'all be disrespectful. Y'all be quiet. Y'all be quiet for me. Jericho Road is a, is a teaching ministry. And here what God has given me is the gift of the teacher. Not because I'm great, but because he chose me. Yes. He could have chose anybody, but he chose a little bit of me. Yes. And I, I, I often say this, I, I, and I shared this at dinner, that T.D. Jake said, anytime God gives you a ministry, you're supposed to train someone other than yourself to know how to do what you do. Amen. And I always pray, but Lord, when I can't do it, who can? Amen. Because that day gonna come, we have to pass the torch, whether That's you right. like it or not. That's right. One of these yeah. days, you ain't gonna be able to do what you could do now. Amen. So you gotta have somebody, that don't mean you're gonna be dead either. You could, get, you could be get your health will allow you to do it. So you got to make plans for that time, amen? amen? But I thank God for God sending you to Jericho Road. You've been a rock. And ever since I heard you preach your first sermon, the Spirit of God and the anointing, the level of anointing that was upon you, I knew God would take you higher. I know that uh, Jericho Road is not the hike of your ministry. I know you're going to grow even further. But as you st have stopped by Jericho Road, I appreciate all the gifts that's upon you. And I celebrate the gifts that are upon you. And I know that anointedness walks upon you. I celebrate the work of you and your husband when I look at these children. You know, you got a lot of people who want to preach, but that's how they want to do now. They foster mm -hmm. parents, they evangelizing. Mm -hmm. She doing whatever, prophesying. You know, some people get a title, but they ain't doing no with it. They Come just want to make man. money. She ain't trying to make money because she's an RN. She make her own money. Okay. So she's not preaching for money. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people do what they do just for a dollar. That's right. She's not doing She's doing it because that's what the Lord called yeah. her to do. Yeah. You know, and I thank God for that, and I thank God, and I celebrate you today. So now I want you to come. I want you to see your cake. You and your husband come follow me. I want y'all to see the cake that y'all have. In a minute, they're gonna they're gonna let y'all see it, but come on, I want them to see the cake. <laughs> Some Martha to come and present these gifts to her. Will you come? Ask her what she's coming. Will you come and present her gifts to her? So she can give you gifts. Oh, yeah. 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 Wait a minute, I forgot to put up the happy birthday sign. Anyway, I have bought one, I forgot to put it on it. Okay, I forgot to put up the happy birthday sign. Let her come and get a picture before you cut your cake. I said before you cut your cake. Oh, okay. okay. huh. We're gonna let you first. cut first. Uh, Where your knife? Okay. Where your, Did he uh, bring it back? Have some more, we have a knife. Uh-huh. You want uh, you got some more plates? Yeah, I said, I took a picture. You what if what yeah, one is in your car? Huh? Oh, okay. We let you take your picture home like they did. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> they gonna get some. <laughs> they want me to present you with your kids. Let us sit down first. I will. You want me to go ahead and cut? Yeah, you can cut. You can cut, and then we'll bring the gift. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Look, I'm left-handed.